what's my favorite harness? Well, I've answered that once before in a different video, which I'll link down below. But now I've tried a couple different harnesses, and I got more to say about this topic. Stay tuned. <laughs> Hey folks, I'm Mason Luke, and you guys have asked me multiple times about my favorite harnesses. I made a really long video going through like 20 different ones. I'll post that link in the comment below so you can see all the different options that I've tried before. There's a lot. But what I get asked about the most is the jock strap harnesses. And I'm talking about the adjustable type, not the ones fitted to your size. So today I'm going to go through three different jock strap style harnesses that are completely adjustable and you guys can pick what one you think is the best for you, and I'll give you my opinions, pros and cons of each one. So I'm wearing one already. I'm going to try not to do anything vulgar in this video. This is for educational purposes only. Please don't flag it. Um, trying to get some more exposure with this one just because this is a harness only. There is nothing sexual in nature about it. So let's get going. All right, so the first one that I am wearing and going to show you is a brand new one. Um, as you guys know, I work with a lot of different manufacturers out there, uh, different companies when it comes to trying to create better products. This is one that I helped give a voice to and tell a manufacturer what I liked about a product, what I didn't like about a product, and they tried to put what I put, what I uh, communicated to them into a harness. So one of the number one complaints that I've always had with the O-rings on the harnesses is it wasn't big enough, wasn't stretchable enough. guys. I can fit my whole hand right through the o-ring because they finally made a big enough stretchable enough harness so you can be able to put in any type of prosthetic any type of strap on a suction cup whatever it is it should be able to fit through this hole and then the fact that it is stretchable allows it to go back to a smaller size after you've put in the item packers scps play you name it can go through there so that was like my number one uh, this part here is a super, super soft material. Um, loving the material on this one. Very similar to the other th two that I will show you as well. Uh, adjustments. All right, so this one uses like the D-style ring adjustment. So you can see here I do have, let's see where's the little extra. The extra bit is actually tucked in here. This is a stretchable waist, but it does go through. Let's see if I can pull it out for you quick. So it is metal, metal rings, right? And the easiest thing about it is you're going to pull it, loop it through one part, and then you're going to loop it back through the other part. Again, it is a stretch. It's not going to be a uh, fitted material. So we loop, we loop, bam. All right, so now I have it this way, and then I'm going to adjust to fit. So all you're doing is pulling on this to adjust it, also similar to the other two that you're going to see. Um, and then this material itself, again, super adjustable. Um, I'm wearing about a large size pants, just for a reference, and if I, I'm going to hold on to the ring just so that I don't like pull it at all, but you can see uh, there is quite a bit of movement to it uh, to be able to stretch to fit to body, body types. I'll put in the link um, exact fits uh, for each different style um, on the product descriptions. I'm not going to put that all in here though. Okay, next part is the leg straps. So this one also uses a small D style ring here. Uh, but it wraps all the way around. I'm going to actually undo it so you guys can see it. It wraps down from the bottom of the pouch around the leg. You can have a very large legs with this one, unlike some others. Um, and then you're going to just put it straight through, again, the ring here. Dun, dun, dun. And then back through. And then you can actually pull it to just adjust it tight. I'm not going to do that because I'm going to actually take it off so I can show you up close a little bit better. But wanted to give you an idea of how it worked and to pull it off um honestly you don't have to undo all of these rings uh you can just slip it completely off from your waist for the moment i wanted to just be able to show you how it fits at the bottom which i also like so you can see here it goes one on each side of the pouch which means that it's going to wrap around the legs nicely um for separation you don't have any type of awkward holding there all right now i'm going to do it off the waist so you guys can see the back of the pouch too oh there we go so that's the front of the pouch up close again super stretchable wide ring here and then in the back we have a nice dual flap so if you are using some type of suction cup uh, this isn't going to be rubbing the suction cup on you 
We have these little flaps here to be able to protect the body. And then, let's see if I can undo it a little bit more. In the top here, we do have a little slip if you want to put a bullet in here. What I do like is it's wider than most of the other ones that I'll show you. Um, I can actually fit two whole fingers in here uh, to fit an even bigger bullet as opposed to the other ones that are a little bit on the tighter side. So that one is there. And then I think that's all for inside that one. Yeah. But that'll give you an idea of product um, and then different features of this particular harness. So what is this one in case you want to look it up? This is the gender fluid harness. So I'm going to show you that up close, gender fluid. Um, I'm going to put, again, links down below, but that's the first one that we are going over. All right, let's go to the next one. So the next one is one that you will probably be more familiar with. The next one is the spare parts. Oh, let's also go talk about price points, too. So that first one um, is actually one of the least expensive. Um, as of today, it's around like a $60 to $70 price point. The next one I'm talking about is like a $120 to $130 price point, depending on where you're buying from. But what's special about this one? Again, we have that same type of material. It does come in three different colors, black, purple, and red. It does have a slightly stretchable O-ring, but when I say stretchable, I'm like, let's see, can I get four fingers in? I can barely get like four fingers in to be able to stretch it, um, and it is tight. It's much, much smaller of a ring. Let's do the pouch part before I put it on. And then this one does have a small pocket on top. I could probably get about one finger in here. So if you're using a five, it has to be on the smaller side. And then this one does have one on the bottom as well. And then that is it for the pouch part. For the straps, these ones are going to use a plastic uh, adjuster, both on the sides and around the edges. Again, so now this is what's different about this one, right? So this one is attaching from the bottom of the pouch, which is good, and then it's attaching up here. So when you're getting into it, you gotta realize like you're putting your legs into like just the front part of the harness. Um, whereas this one was a little bit on the, a little bit different, eh, not too different though. They're in similar spots, I guess. When I put that one on, it just seemed a little bit easier. But let's go ahead and put this one on. One leg, two legs. I probably have to undo some straps here. Oh, this is also what's nice about this one is it does come with a Velcro. So for easy on, easy off, you're actually going to unvelcro the back. Let's see if I can adjust there. Shimmy, shimmy. All right, so now I got the Velcro open. So now I'm going to pull the Velcro closed in the back, in the back. All right. So when I'm doing that, it's literally going to have this extra little flap of material. I'm going to hold this part in, pull this around back. Okay, so now it's secure there, and then if I want to tighten it, I'm going to use these little straps here to tighten the waist. And again here, right, pull tight with the Velcro, adjust here to tighten. And then, let's adjust these up a little bit. These ones are going to use the plastic part. We're going to take this and we're going to adjust it down. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. This is definitely not sized for me originally. All right, and then this one, again, adjusting dun, 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 to, here we go. Oh, I think these got one bigger and size smaller. There we go. So that's how to adjust that one as well. So a little bit more uh, tedious to do adjustments on this one, but it does have more adjustments, which means if you want something with a slightly better fit, if you have problems uh, with using things that are more elastic-y, this one might be a better option. Uh, just again, a little bit more tedious to do like kind of micro adjustments uh, to be able to get the right fit. Because now you're adjusting here, you're adjusting here, um, and you're adjusting these a little bit more like individually, because it's like adjust here, move, adjust here, move. Uh, once you get it to the right fit, it might be, not be so bad. I just like that the D-rings are kind of like pull tight, pull tight, and you're done. Um, but that is the spare parts jock. The other thing is that this one does come in two sizes. It comes in a size A and a size B, which basically is traditional size and plus size. Um, again, three different colors on this one. The first one only had one color, and it only has one size currently. 
but I'll put that all down below. All right, so that was the spare parts one. Again, that's about a 120, 130 price point compared to the 6070. And then the last one. This one I have on my website as Mason's um, universal harness, I think it is, or out of this world harness. And then this one is going to be very similar to, like, a combination of both of the previous ones, essentially. So this one does not have an adjustable ring, but it is a large ring. Same kind of soft pouch. Um, material is going to be about the same. If I flip it over and open up the back, we do have a small pocket on the top. And I, when I say small, this is probably the smallest of them. Um, I could probably get... Yeah, it can get like one finger kind of width-wise in there, but it's a super, super short pouch in comparison to the other ones. And if I do the bottom one, it's going to be about the same. You know, I can probably get barely to like the, the second knuckle on my finger. So gives you an idea of, you know, if you're planning on using the bullet part, make sure you're using a really small bullet for uh, either of these two in comparison to the first one. This one also uses the plastic adjustment here and here, and it does have the Velcro option. So to do this one, we're going to slip it on this way. This one I think is a little bit better fitted to me at the moment. Velcro, or sorry, not Velcro, but elastic. And then again, we're going to do sort of those micro adjustments with this one, um, pulling, pushing. I will say that this um, elastic is probably the least soft of the three harnesses. Um, the first one is probably going to be the softest. The next one is kind of more like soft and satiny. And then this one is going to be the least soft. Um, this one kind of reminds me a little bit more of a traditional elastic as opposed to the other ones that are a little bit on the softer side. All right, so adjusting here, pulling here to get tight, and then again, pull this one up a little bit better. Adjusting here. So this one you get probably a little bit more distance with your adjustments compared to the other one too. This one definitely, I guess maybe it's just pulled a lot tighter on this one, but you can see how that one gets pulled tight, and then this one gets pulled. Um, and then again, this one still does have the Velcro on it as well. So those are the three different jock style harnesses uh, that I have available. Uh, if you have questions about any of the three, post them in the comments below and I'll be sure to get to them. Uh, other than that, you can find out more information by visiting my website, masonluke.com, um, or go to the description below and click on individual products so that you can find out more. Thanks for watching, and if I have any discount codes specific to any of these models uh, for a limited time, they will be in the description below as well, or at the uh, homepage of my website. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you guys have a great one. So, after all that, you might be wondering, what's my favorite? Well, a couple different things. It depends on what you're going for, right? So, for me, I really like the style of the first one. Um, it's the least expensive, and it has the best adjustment. Uh, for me, that's really important, especially for, you know, using with wider, larger girth prosthetics. Uh, so for me, hands down, that one is probably going to be my top, just because it does the most versatility uh, in terms of what you're packing with or using. Now, if I want to go with more versatility in terms of user um, and design, I would say then the spare parts, because that one has two different sizes, a regular traditional size and a plus size. It also has three different color options. It also has the wi widest range of um, versatility when it comes to adjustments. So you can be a small person and use the size A. Uh, you can use the uh, be a bigger person, use the size B, and then have like the largest adjustment. Uh, the downside of that one, price point. I as much as I love spare parts and love their products, to me that product is way overpriced compared to other things on the market. Um, and then as far as versatility, Mason's out of the swirl jock harness, um, gonna be better than spare parts. It is technically like a knockoff of that product because uh, it does almost the exact same thing for like half the price. Uh, the biggest difference is just going to be that it doesn't have different color options and the straps are just so not as soft and satiny. So um, 
to me, I can compromise a little bit on the softness and the colors if I want to save a significant amount of money, and it also has a larger O-ring option. So for me, that one is going to be better than spare parts as well. So that's my opinion. Uh, that's my preferences and how I would encourage you to buy based on your own needs as opposed to maybe price point, um, color options, uh, I don't know, whatever else is out there that um, maybe you're debating. So think, keep those things in mind when you're making your purchase. Thanks everyone. And if I didn't address anything else, make sure you check out the comments below, post whatever you got questioning, uh, or check out the description to the links to the product, and uh, hopefully what you're looking for is going to be there. Thanks everyone. Thank you.